Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. Three. You have permission to launch. We have ignition of the RS 68A main engine. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket. Execute. And we have indication of spacecraft separation. 30 seconds. T minus 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Go Starliner. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift off the rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. Now 10 seconds into flight. Vehicles begun the pitch over program. Body rate responses look good. Now 15 seconds in. He has gone close to control. Party money looks good at full thrust. See if you can press from the best of these. Now 26 seconds into flight. Party 180 now throttling down to partial thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Now 38 seconds in. Party 180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle is now passing through max key, maximum dynamic pressure. Chamber pressures on both SRVs continue to look good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also continue to look good. Now passing one minute into flight. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And vehicle now throttling up. Engine response looks good. Continues to good chamber pressure on both SRBs. One minute, 20 seconds into flight. Location of jettison of both solid rocket boosters. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Now just under two minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Two minutes, 35 seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Engine's now throttling down slightly. Engine response looks good. And Atlas V is now traveling at over five times the speed of sound. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Three minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 80 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now one minute remaining until engine cutoff. Body rate responses continue to look good throughout the booster phase of flight. And RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 3.5 G acceleration limit. Engine responses will all look good. Three minutes, 55 seconds into flight. And Centaur has begun the boost phase chill-down sequence. 20 seconds to BECO. RD-180 continuing to look good as it throttles to maintain that constant 3.5 G acceleration limit. Atlas PU has gone to open loop in preparation for BECO. And standing by for BECO. And we have BECO. Booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition. 
We have ignition and full thrust on both RL10 engines. Chamber pressures look good on both engines. We have confirmation of ascent cover jettison on Starliner. Aeroskirt jettison. And we have good indication of aeroskirt jettison. Sense are now resuming active attitude control after successful aeroskirt jettison. Chamber pressures on both RL10 engines continue to look good. And we have good indication of separation of the OFT capsule. There it is. ULA has successfully completed their piece of the mission. Starliner is free flying for the first time in space. From here, the Johnson Space Center mission controllers will be flying Starliner. We will hear reports exclusively from there.